everyone welcome to Victoria Moon Tarot I am Lorraine Victoria and I'm here to give you a tarot card reading for today today's tarot card reading is a what is he thinking what are they thinking right now um, about you your connections what's going on between the connections let's just get into your person's thoughts today and their energies to see what's going on in their heads okay we have three tarot decks here the Legends Tarot Deck, which is reading one, the Gilded Tarot Deck, and the Light Seers Tarot Deck, which is reading two and three. What I ask you to do is choose your reading today from your intuition. Um, I do get sometimes I get like spirit messages that come out and intuitive messages that come out during during the reading itself so if they're, they're messages for you that's great um take from the reading what resonates and discard the rest these are general as general reading as as i can because i try and read for as many as i can but um not every thing i say during a reading is going to be absolutely for your situation so just bear that in mind as well but yeah there may be messages here for you um stick around to the end of your readings i'll be doing the oracle cards and the message cards at the end of each of the pile of cards as well okay let's get on with your reading so i'd like you to choose now between reading one two and three i will give you a few quiet moments to do that let me just clear the energy first okay over the reading okay and I'll give you a few quiet moments now to choose your reading for what is he thinking right now. Hello there, welcome back to those of you who chose reading one today, which was the uh, Legends Tarot deck that we're working with for you today. Let's have a look what your person's thinking right now about you, your connections, um, what's going on around you both. Let's see what comes out. We'll start shuffling to get these energies going. Okay, we have one card. We have the Ace of Pentacles that has just jumped out of the tarot deck. And there's another one. Oh, there's two here. And we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse and the Three of Wands in reverse. So there has been some delays or setbacks in your connection. I can see already here with these two cards. hearing they're waiting for something there's a bit of a, a waiting game going on right another one's flipped over in the deck we have the knight of wands in reverse okay there is some frustration here with your person um they seem to be waiting for something from you yeah, they're definitely invested in your connection if the Ace of Pentacles has come out first. Okay, but when the Knight of Wands goes in reverse, sometimes the energies around your person or your connection can be a little bit chaotic. Okay, um, I feel like your person might want something quickly and possibly you want to hold on a little bit. It could be that they want an answer from you quickly. They want the connection to go a bit quicker. But I kind of get the energies here with these cards that possibly you or them is holding back for a reason or yeah there, there is interest here don't get me wrong the ace of pentacles was your first card out this is someone who's definitely invested in your in you in your connection but something about the connection is delayed and the person might get a little bit annoyed at something yeah either something's gone wrong there's been a frustration that's going on for them um it's like they're waiting for things to change. It could be that they want to proceed faster than you or vice versa. OK, maybe someone's holding off for a reason. This is what I'm feeling as well. <clears throat> when the Knight of Wands comes out, there can be like a little chaotic energy in the air. OK, um, Also, what I'm picking up intuitively as well is that, <clears throat> pardon me, <laughs> is that the hold off is for a reason. It's like 
um, maybe they want to proceed something faster, but they're holding off because they know someone isn't ready for something. Yeah. What I'm feeling is the, the, the need to get going, but not doing it, if that makes sense. So there could be a little frustration going on. But there's a delay of some kind and that's maybe frustrating your person a bit. Remember, these energies can work vice versa as well. OK, sometimes people are saying this is my reading. This is how I feel. But that's OK as well, because I'm picking up on the energies, you see. Oh, someone's just flown out the deck and gone on the floor. So let's have a look what it was. This Six of Cups. OK. OK, Six of Cups often talks about um, nostalgia, um, innocent reunions, um, a time possibly in the past when things were better, when things were easier, maybe things were happier. So um, there's that thought process there is that why can't we, you know, why, why is it gone like this? Why, why is this happening? Why, um, why, maybe why are you holding back or why is your person holding back? Um I think at times their thoughts go back to maybe when you first met with the Ace of Pentacles there and when there was all excitement and, and passion, possibly. I feel that's still there, OK, but something about it has either got a delay on it and it's somebody's holding back with emotion at some of, for some reason. But they're, it's like I'm feeling like a yearning to go back to when things were better or happier. OK, with that Six of Cups. We'll get a couple of clarifying cards to end the tarot, and then we'll do your oracles. So stick around for that. And message cards. We have the world wheel of fortune in reverse. There's just and the star card. Wow. Okay. The ten of your person wants a solution to what the frustration is. It's like they're going to be patient. When the star card comes out in a love reading like this they're very much invested you've got the ace of pentacles you've got star card and the ten of pentacles this person is seen long term with you okay this may be a work in progress there may be things in the 3d world that have frustrated your person that things that possibly you or they have to deal with right now or there may be somebody kind of even getting in the way a little bit, not in like a third party situation. It might be a situation where there's somebody or something is getting in the way. This could be work. This could be family problems. This could be dramas of some kind. And the wheel of because wheel of fortune in reverse as well can be when someone has got something has got out of control. It's a bit like what I'm seeing actually is an actual wheel that that going down the road like a car tire <laughs> that somebody's trying to chase and that that's what I said you know when I mentioned the wheel of fortune that's the image I was given it's like somebody's trying to chase a wheel just spinning down the road and they're not catching it and that's the image I was given um there by my spirit guide but yeah see this star card in the ten of pentacles and the ace of pentacles this person is definitely still interested okay but there's this need that they want to put you first possibly <clears throat> for some of you what I'm feeling as well it's like possibly you're very independent and you can manage and your person is like wants to spoil you a bit more or wants to put you more in the forefront um also the other energy I'm getting and this is for others maybe it won't resonate with you and I'm feeling like you want that it's like possibly some of you don't want them to spoil you. You're quite independent and do it by yourself. But I feel like with others, you want them to pay more attention to you. They want you want more attention from your person. But with the Ten of Pentacles here, <clears throat> this is about leaving a legacy. OK, with the Ten of Pentacles in a love reading, it's like um, they are invested. There's going to be um, they're not going anywhere. I feel like they're, they just want a return when things were prettier and nicer and more calm and that's what i'm feeling here <clears throat> pardon me got to have a little sip of water before i do your oracles okay let's do your love oracles here and your message cards Oh, wow. Marriage. <clears throat> Pardon me. 
A marriage of souls is a union of two divine counterparts blending together. So this is uh, long term stuff, guys. One million percent. If you've got the Ten of Pentacles there, it could be where and the star card, Ten of Pentacles. And I pulled out this card. <clears throat> this could be marriage. Are you childhood sweethearts? Often that comes out with the Six of Cups. You don't have to be, obviously. But this person, this card is telling me they're serious about you. Okay. So if like they're a bit moody or they've pulled back in some way, it's probably because what's going on in like the real world, as I call it. Perhaps they their focus is not on the connection right now for some reason. It's like possibly they can only think of one other thing. And I've got this feeling with your person, there's stuff going on in their life, possibly. You know? what I call jobs, money, um, you know, bills, that kind of thing. They might be worrying about something else right now. We have the card from the Romance Angels deck of worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life here. What's this one? <laughs> This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. Exactly. They do want to be with you and they do want the connection to work and last. But um, yeah, it might be that stuff they just have to sort out in their own lives that's going on. There is a little bit of frustration because a little bit of chaotic energy in the air. I feel like this will get sorted out, though. <clears throat> with the Wheel of Fortune, it it turns yeah, so one minute, because it's a wheel, it goes round and round, a bit like the sun card. For me as a reader, the Wheel of Fortune doesn't stay reversed for too long. So it won't be long before you see it doing that, where things are more harmonious. Okay, thank you for listening to the reading today. I hope it helps you and clarifies what's going on, if you're not sure what's going on in your person's head. Okay, thank you, lovelies, and I shall be back with another tarot reading really really soon thank you for listening it's been a pleasure to read for you all if you're not a subscriber yet um yeah please subscribe i upload several times a week <clears throat> it'll be lovely to have you here on my little little corner of youtube here um yeah thank you so much turn on the notification bell if you subscribe then youtube should notify you when my vid new videos are up you can check out the playlist there that i have big long love playlist all the videos on my channel are um timeless to when you need them and find them. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye bye. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to your reading. Those of you who chose reading two today, which is the Gilded Tarot deck. OK, let's get your energies going. Let's shuffle the deck to get everything started. And see what messages come out and what I can pick up as well. Please stay around to the end of your tarot card readings because I'll be doing oracle cards and the message cards at the end. Okay, what are they thinking? King of Swords, reversed. We have the Hanging Man, the Hanged Man. We have the Five of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles is now in reverse. Ace of Pentacles was the first card out in reading number one. So I don't know if you've scooted over from reading number one here. Um, some of you may have. King of Wands. Ooh. OK, <clears throat> right. Your person's got regrets um, instantly. And this won't be for everyone. <clears throat> what I picked up intuitively is they may have accused you of something with something with somebody else. We have a king of swords in reverse and then we have this king of wands. I've got two different scenarios going on intuitively. OK, they've got regrets because they see things from a different point of view now. Um, the king of swords reverse first card out. They can be angry in reverse and they're sharp with their words. 
a little bit narcissistic as well. So it might be that you had to listen to their point of view and they weren't listening to you. Um, I think they realise that they're wrong. They've seen things from a different point of view. And then we have the hanging man. It's like he hangs from the foot. So he's not dead. Yeah. <laughs> if he hangs from the neck, you kill him. Yeah. But it's like wisdom. It's a card of wisdom and getting a different perspective of the world and what's um and of the situation. It's like, ah, I think they've realized they've made some kind of error. With the five of cups the right way up, it can be a feeling of being they might have made a fool out of themselves is what I'm feeling so they've got this regret here now I'm wondering if something has happened between you where because the five of cups can also occur when they're feeling a loss so it could be painful for them so I don't know if they've they've done something to you and then now you've not spoken to them or um you're punishing them in some way by being a bit stroppy or a bit <laughs> that's what's coming off the ace of pentacles it's stress so they're stressing about something okay I'm going to get a couple more cards here. So there's some stress. There's definitely regrets with your person. They may have spoken to you out of turn. Okay. They may have even accused you of something that wasn't true. And you may have been, what I'm feeling is you may have been pleading with your person that it, it, it's not like that. And they haven't listened to something that you said. Um, let's get more cards here. I always <clears throat> don't put them straight. It's my little habit I do. We do have a King of Wands coming out the end. We have two Kings. One reversed and one the right way up. The Two of Wands. The Ten of Wands in reverse. Okay. Are they waiting for your forgiveness? Right. We have the Two of Wands. They're waiting for something. Okay. They're waiting for a choice. This is what I'm feeling. Ten of Wands reversed. It's, trying to, it's kind of saying they need to hear from you or they need to hear that everything is okay. Now, I'm wondering with this King of Wands as well, coming out, whether this is um, two personalities of your person. Yeah. It could be that they now, it's like they've gone, they went cold and now they're more passionate as well. So I'm trying to pick up as much energy as I'm picking up here. Magicians in reverse. Okay. Okay. When the magician's in reverse in a love reading, it can be when trust has to be rebuilt here. Um, so they may have broken your trust in some way. Okay. That might be for some. It won't be for all of you. Magician in reverse can be a bit of a trickster or a prankster. Um, it might be that they've tried to play a few um, head games. That's the word I'm looking for. <clears throat> they may have tried to play a few head games or try to even, you know, a, sort of wound you up a little bit here to try and get you to tell the truth or... Um, this won't be for all of you, obviously, but this is what I'm picking up. It's going a little bit deeper into this reading. Oh, so I feel like they're waiting here for the lightning of the energies. So they know they've made a mistake. They Some of them are feeling a loss of some kind. It's like maybe they're feeling the loss of the connection the way it was. Maybe you've not spoken to them. Maybe you're ghosting them. Um, it's like, or maybe you're just sharp yourself with them because I think they may have just been a bit sharp with you with this reading. Yeah, so there's been a, this, they're stressing now that they've upset you, that they've done something to you. Uh, there's regrets of their actions. They, um, I don't see an apology here. Perhaps they're waiting to apologise. But the magician in reverse kind of saying, look, I, I've, I've made a mistake. So this is what they're saying. I, he know They know. They know they've done wrong. They've seen things in a different way now. Maybe this is an ex that you're thinking about here that... Um, um, they've hurt you and possibly it might be X energy that's coming out. The Whoever's tricked, you know, tricked on that, clicked on this reading, you know, like this could be an X you're reading about. It's like they've got regrets here of things that are going wrong. Possibly with some of them, they realise their mistake now. And it's like possibly they want to correct it and it's too late. That will be for some of you. OK, let's get some Oracle cards here.
tarot cards are on fire today. I knew, intuitively, I knew because Mercury was been going retrograde and today it's kind of finished. So I'm like, whoa. Okay, heart. You begin to feel your heart beat faster when you're close. Mm, they've got regrets here of losing you, a lot of them, or regrets of doing something wrong. Yeah, so they may have not invested their heart enough. And I think here with this reading, it's like they're definitely feeling your absence or a loss of the connection. Yeah, and let's get a romance angel deck as well. We have the card of deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. I kind of feel like possibly they have betrayed you in some way or there's been a lie. Because they have done something. Something has happened where I think they feel they've upset you. Or, yeah, if there's a card of deception here. Let me see the card next to it. What you've got getting to know each other okay as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens i feel like they might want contact with you again okay for some of you for some of you don't want to contact them obviously you know if they've done something wrong you might not want to speak to them but it's like maybe they just want to talk try and sort it out but maybe that's why the magician is there in reverse at the end I'm looking at him and I'm thinking, have they been trying to manifest you in some way? You can manifest without manifest knowing you're manifesting. Perhaps they're not into, you know, spiritual things like this, like into light work and stuff. They might have just been. I'm just heard the words talking to you in their heads. Oh, OK. <laughs> I've just heard talking to you in their heads. That's what I've just heard. Wow. OK. Um, yeah, I think you're on their mind a lot as well, is what I'm picking up. So there is still emotion there, unfinished business, I feel as well. But yeah, okay, lovelies, that's the reading I've seen for those of you who um, clicked on pile two today. If that resonated, give it a thumbs up, drop a comment in the box. Be kind in the comments, please. Um yeah, if you're not a subscriber yet, please do. I upload regularly throughout the week and it'd be lovely to have you here on my little corner of YouTube. And turn on the notification bell if you do that and then you'll be notified every time there's a new upload. Check out the play Long Love playlist I have there. All the reasons are timeless to when you find them and when you need them. Um, yeah, thank you so much and take care till next time. Bye bye. Hello there, welcome back to those of you who chose the Lightseer's Tower, which was reading number three today. Let's have a look, what is your person thinking right now? Okay, we've got the Eight of Wands coming in at you fast. This is, Eight of Wands is usually news that comes in, okay? But it can be speed, action and quick changes. Let's have a look at the rest of the cards. It's often a card of communication. You can see all those wands firing at you. Burning fire. <laughs> okay. We have the Eight of Cups. Two eights here. Motion. Let's have a look what's going on. Ace of Cups reversed. The Death card. Ooh, the Knight of Wands. There's somebody coming in at speed here. Somebody wants to talk to you. Mm, we do have an Eight of Cups situation here. So often the Eight of Cups can be when somebody has withdrawn themselves, okay, from the situation in some way. Um, right. Oh, is this an ex returning, guys? I'm not sure. But somebody wants to speak to you. I'm feeling somebody wants fast communication. We have the Eight of Cups is often a card when somebody's had to walk away. It can be a withdrawal and it can be, um, let me get more cards. This person may have left you disappointed. This could be about disappointing connections where they haven't maybe contacted you. 
Okay. And um, yeah. And you've sort of given up on them. This is what I'm feeling. Because we do have a death card here. And then the Knight of Wands. Is this an ex? That's why I said, is this an ex returning or somebody that hasn't contacted you for a little while? I really feel like somebody's about to contact you guys from the past. Someone's coming back at speed. So this could be faster contact. Oh, please let me know if somebody contacts you that hasn't you haven't spoken to for a while. I'd love to. I'd love to know that. The Knight of Wands and the Eight of Wands, this is fast energy. We do have a death card here in the middle of this, which is often when one situation is ending and another one starts. It can be a card of rebirth. So often when the death card comes out, people go, oh no, it's the death card. But no, it's, it's actually not a bad card. It's a card when things have had to end for a reason and then restart. Okay, hmm. let me get more cards, guys. I'd love to know what it is. But contact is coming in fast. Someone's coming back at you, I'm feeling. Hermit reversed. The moon. Someone's been fantasizing about you and thinking about you. Page of Wands. Okay. Right. We've got the hat. Hanged man in reverse. I thought it was the Hierophant then. We have the hanged man in reverse. Someone's been very selfish here. Okay. Uh, they may know this. They've been thinking about you massively. We've got more wands energy, the page of wands. This is like a bouncy child. So someone's going to come in with enthusiasm. It's like, hi, how are you? You know, that kind of energy. You might not want to hear that from them if they've hurt you in some way or disappointed you or even haven't contacted you for a while. But this is somebody coming in fast. This is fast contact. We've got eight of wands, knight of wands, page of wands, the moon can be when um comes out it's a card of fantasy and you see these wolves there in the picture they're howling at that moon okay so there could be a bit of madness in the air so it, it could be like what do you want that kind of energy it's like your person's coming in back at you in some way you may have also it might be an ex it could be someone you haven't spoken to for a while and it's like maybe you've had to restart move away from them to save yourself but they're going to come back with this hi energy at some point and it's like you're going to be quite suspicious of what they want and their motives is what i'm feeling it's like you thought that that was over with them but they've been thinking about you and fantasizing about you here so you've been on their mind they may just want to talk but they want to communicate and i can feel like somebody sort of charging at you like a bull yeah it's coming in quick but we do have this walking away business going on. So I don't know who walked away from who. OK, um, I feel like maybe you got fed up with them because their communication was rubbish is what I've just heard. Or maybe they just went silent or maybe you both went silent. But yeah, someone's coming back at you here with a massive like this jumpy girl here with the stick. <laughs> it's like new ideas. Um, let's meet. Let's have coffee. That's the kind of vibe I'm getting. OK. Labyrinths. I don't see this card come out much when this deck. Even when you feel lost, there is always a way through. So you've I'm looking at the green maze with the can you see that little shelter thing? OK, perhaps this is how your person made you feel lost. Because there's there's definitely been with the death card coming out, this could be a restart. Yeah, but it could be um ending and starting again. Possibly somebody wants to come back into your energies here. OK, this person I'm feeling with this maze kind of, I'm looking directly at this green maze like possibly this is how your person made you feel um or maybe now they feel like this without you um yeah walking through these mazes it's like perhaps this is what's happened perhaps there was confusion here misunderstood situations and messages with this labyrinth card coming out
Oh, wow. we've got the card of religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Right. What I'm feeling is, again, that's come out quite a bit in the few readings that I've done this week. Um, I think it came out in the last one as well. So if you have watched that video and come back to this one, hi. <laughs> but yeah, that's come out again. It's like maybe you just don't get on because you're on two different levels, religiously or spiritually. Perhaps you don't see eye to eye with opinions and you may have had a falling out for some of you mm. let's get the card next to it see what that one says okay let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others wow okay so let your friends help you here okay that's interesting. So your friends need to support you here. Perhaps you should turn to your friends. Possibly you need some advice on what to do when this person comes at you. You might They might confuse you as well if the labyrinth card has come out. They could be about what do they want now. So yeah, perhaps this person was a friend for some of you. Or maybe you decided to stay friends and they didn't. Something like that. Okay. Yeah, someone's coming at you. So let me know in the comments if they do that if they contact you okay lovelies thank you so much for listening to this reading um i shall be back really soon with another one if you're not a subscriber yet please do um yeah i upload regularly throughout the week so keep an eye out there oh actually you can turn on the notification bell the little bell on the side and that will tell you every new upload that i do okay it's been a pleasure to read for you all thank you so much for listening take care till next time bye bye Hi guys, welcome to your message cards. I'm from the reading earlier, so we'll put these on the side. Let's get these message cards going for you. I of your tarot reading there and your oracle reading. So I know people love the message cards. So this is what is he thinking for those of you who chose pile one. I remember every detail of that day. I will wait for a sign from you. I regret lying to you. That was from the Hidden Truth Oracle. Okay, and I'll get some from the In the Shadows deck. For reading number one. remember with the message cards they can work vice versa so they might be your energy okay i don't trust you i don't know how to let you go i am waiting for an apology okay so that's the message cards for those of you who chose reading number one today so sorry i didn't do them at the end of with your oracle cards i just didn't pull them out i forgot i was getting carried away with your readings thank you so much take care bye bye hello there those of you who um didn't get the message cards from reading number two i will do them now that was your tarot deck wasn't it that i did the reading let's get your message cards apologies for that but we will do them now so spirit please may we have the message cards for reading number two i look for you everywhere my life is not as together as it seems uh, please remember with the message cards they can work vice versa so this could be energy that picking up on your own thought system as well as your person's that's how they seem to work for me as a reader you were the best thing in my life and we'll get one from the hidden shadows deck so these go a little bit deeper i pretend that i don't care I know we have a soul connection and I forgive you. Okay, so those are your messages for reading number two, which was the Gilded Tarot deck. Thank you so much. Apologies. 
Hello guys and here are the message cards for those of you who chose reading number three which was the Light Seers Tarot. Apologies for forgetting them at the end of your reading. Remember with the message cards they can work vice versa so they might be picking up on your actual thoughts as well as your person's okay. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I hid who I really am from you. We will be together again. And then we'll get some from the In the Shadows deck, which delves a little bit deeper. We've got I'm Not Coming Back. I pretend you don't mean that. I've been struggling. Okay, loves, thank you so much for that. Apologies for not including them right at the very end of your reading. I get carried away through reading, so apologies for that. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.